<laughs> Down in my plums. <laughs> like, like, fuck, man. man. Like, where? Is Welcome back to the gentlemen then. Yes, it is two o'clock in the morning, and this is gonna be a fucking shit show. Hello. Hey, boys. Hi. Yes, I am. Holy what? shit! Mic uh, monitoring. Echo, echo. Oh man. Not a watch, not a good keep your day. Chewy chongas out of the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> not a good not a good day with the electronics today, boys. No, no nothing, nothing works. works. It's on the fritz. Cameras on the fritz. Yeah, it's uh, and I'm out of fritz. <laughs> Kind of guy, this. What kind of man are you? You going to go get more crackers or what? I'm the kind of man that stood next to the stove after I made mac and cheese with a bag of toast. I seen it. Like, Fuck it. I, I seen it. it All bad. Oh, it's done, kids. And then I just stood there and dipped in his pot. Oh, man. Goals. Goals. Right there. Oh, just living oh, the, God, living the deep. life. Yeah, I, I wonder. I really do wonder how much everyone's uh, gained since this started. Uh, probably a shitload. Mhm. Yeah. Quarantine fifteen. Quarantine fifteen. Shit. Quarantine thirty. <laughs> Shit. Right. Fifteen for every month. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Rough been rough that's like one of the hardest things about being a parent is trying to lose weight because you cook all this food and they don't eat it and you know if those leftovers go in the fridge i mean they should just be called i'm eventually going to throw these out <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be a waster, but like at the same time, be a realistic person. No one's be a realistic. These, yeah. like, no I'm one's gonna shit. I'm throwing it out now. You're gonna. I'm gonna go in this Tupperware cabinet and spend a half an hour trying to find a lid for this fucking thing. <laughs> Just to fucking throw this bullshit out. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> dead. It's true. I mean, shit. Oh, oh shit. This is a very late night podcast. I threw every fucking piece of Tupperware out of the cabinet. I finally, a fucking half hour later, I found the lid. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. Died. I organized it. I don't know why. Because if you go look at it now, you can't shit. You gotta, you gotta, like, you gotta open, open it quick and grab what you need and shut it. <laughs> the avalanche is coming. Because if I can't go, I'll just pause the fuck out. Oh, you gotta have fucking quick reflexes. Oh, bro, you gotta, you gotta know what you need in there. <laughs> or it is game family, over. Like, huddles around, around each other. We're like, all right, what are you getting? I'm getting the red lid, daddy. I'm like, all right, cool. You gotta be quick, though, all right? We'll be here for you. Blue lid. Color? Red lid. Blue lid. Duck season? What are we just red season? Season a bomb here? <laughs> I wanted two tupperwares. Shit. Is it Tupperware? I'm just going to throw out the uh, I'm going to make up words today. Start over fresh. <laughs> Why is it from reason here? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't take you serious. <laughs> Dude, this is podcast gold going on right now here, boys. Why? 
This, this might, might be, be podcast, podcast bronze. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is a participation. This, that does, this is a participation ribbon. Hey, yeah, everyone, 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 everyone listening, listening to this, this is getting, getting a, getting a fucking, fucking trophy in the mail. mail. <laughs> this is a participation trophy at uh, best. Edibles are an amazing thing. This this might be one of those ones for the uh, the clip vault. <laughs> really? Just a whole bunch of files of clips and do another one. <laughs> you didn't uh, pronounce your words. I said clip vault. I was so confused. Clip vault. <laughs> like clip vault? C L I P P as in Peter. <laughs> Clip. Oh, oh, you, you can't, can't find the clip. clip. It's in a vault. I am the clip commander. I think, I think that, that shit work. work. Damn, that's, that's why, why girls, girls like date locksmiths. locksmiths. <laughs> 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 the... Savage. Bunch of uh, fucking savages. Uh, get that vault open. Find that pearl. Girl. Find that pearl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandpa. I bet you miss Grandpa. <sighs> I'm talking about Grandma. I'm talking about this pearl. This is See, you said you, you don't, don't like rom coms. <laughs> That's a rom com. <laughs> the sweetest thing is a rom com. 100%. Hopefully, I'll give a shit. I like rom coms. I like I love, I love rom coms. Employee of the month? Rom com. Rom com. Um, my best friend's girl, uh, rom com. Oh, uh, what's like a really uh, one of my favorites? Hall Which pass, rom com. Please, I didn't hear your favorite. Sorry. What about Hangover? Hangover? That's, that's a that's, that's a, a like, like a bromance. That's a that's like yeah. romantic comedy. <laughs> bromantic comedy. Yeah, yeah romantic, romantic comedy. I want to go to Vegas, guys. <laughs> Intent, you gentlemen, then you won't even go to my house. You're gonna go to Vegas, yeah. yeah I mean, you might want to leave your basement eventually. Quarantine's over in my state, come bomb on shelter, not mine yet. Come on, out to Wisconsin. You don't want to happen. You don't want to happen. We're not going to the bar like everybody else. Just hang out of my house. Chance. I'm here for you. Oh. Not a chance am I going to a bar. Right? That's just some dumb. Hey, it is a disease out there, and it's super serious, and it spreads like crazy. But super easy. We don't have a cure or vaccine or anything for it. But you guys should go hang out again together. Yeah, yeah but it'll <laughs> probably just work out. The mentality in the area around us is, well, I already got herpes, so what else can I add? Okay. Well, so they, they, the, the governor, governor wanted to stay closed, right? right? And the Supreme Court for Wisconsin 12 more days said, said no. So then people, people right away that night, the, the bars opened and the bars, bars were fucking packed. packed. And, and what's, what's funny is that it wasn't like approved yet. yet. No, people so just did it. All the bars were like, no, no there was, was no one here and, and took down all their pictures off social media. I mean, but now they're open right now. They had some bars that had, like, oh, we have masks at the door and hand sanitizer, like, on all the tables. And, like, you show that they're all just sitting off in the distance. No one's fucking touching it. Well, no dude, one's even. Think about that, too. Not a mask, God. What a horrible idea that is. Because you know some drunk fuck is just going to pick one of those hand sanitizers up and just fucking huck chuck it across the room just to be a fucking douchebag. And you're going to be cleaning up hand sanitizer off the fucking wall. I'd be talking just pocketing hand sanitizer. No, there'd be that too. What do you need hand sanitizer for? Jizz. 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 Eastern European jizz (laughs) on your walls. <laughs> it's, it's not, not a clean and practice in the world, world that's gonna get that out. Just burn it. You want, you burn the place right? down. Just burn the fucking place down. It's Just over. Burn it down. Jesus. Oh fuck. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I love you. I miss you. Done. 
soon enough. I, know. I, just, I just love, love this virtual world, world, though, that, like, I don't have to drive an hour all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already <laughs> fucked up. And don't, don't get, get fucked up. up. Yeah. Doesn't sound that fun. It's, and it's getting to, it's going to be getting to the point with Twin Lakes is going to be hammering those DUIs because they have had nothing to do for two months. Nada. Bro, I'm banging, banging them out. People are going to be getting fucking salad tossed. Handing that shit for fucking, handing that shit what? out like fucking. Yeah, yeah but they're, they're letting people, people out of jail, so what do you do? You're, you're going to arrest me yeah, for DUI and then they're letting me out? It's still <laughs> no. stupid. I mean, I guarantee most places are going to be open Memorial Day. Fourth of July, Labor Day, the numbers will spike. They'll say it's getting out of control again. They'll close shit down just like they did as soon as summer's over. Probably. Get these summer states. Bro, you got it. Dude, it's, it's sundress season. You got to let these fuckers out. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking just all these savages inside locked up. A lot of people get hurt. Cajun animals. There's so much tree in the jungle. Spread your wings. Let me let me let me hear your best cacaw. I mean, you gotta take these broken wings and let me fly again. Learn to live so free. Broken wings. When we hear the voices sing, I'm gonna blast that song as I'm walking out of my house to head to the bar. Take. These broken wings. <laughs> so uh, learn to fly again. Oh. Is that is, is that what your song would be like? What is the anthem that like you're gonna cruise around to once like you're like everything's back to just getting fucking partying and what's the anthem? Uh, yeah, it'd probably be take these broken wings. <laughs> learn to fly again. Learn to live so free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's better, better than, than fucking free bird. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, sir? How, How many, many people, people are gonna be blasting free bird, dude? Dude, so, so many, many people. people. I'm, I'm trying, trying to think of like what was weird. Yeah, change. You know, know what I'm saying? I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel <laughs> like I want, I want to listen to fucking. You want to listen to fucking? I listen to fucking. I want to listen, listen to fucking. fucking. <laughs> I just want to listen to fucking. I just got this thing uh, burning deep in my soul. I got to listen to some fucking. Times I put a cup up to the wall. Listen to my name. I'm thinking of why can't I can't think of the song name, man. Like, <laughs> sounds like she's eating mac and cheese. Time. I love it. Why, why can't, can't I think of his Jeremy Dutz? We entered the cover of it with, with the, the fucking kid from Take Trinity. on me. Take uh-huh. on me. I just want to hear the greatest music videos of all time. Facts. Facts. Bro, you youngsters, youngsters go ahead and Google it. Google it. Aha, take, take on me. Ah, ah. Push that push. Everybody move to the back of the bus. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, I know who it is. Really? I think I was just fucking going off the top of my head, like, uh, make these noises. And... Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe it just synced up like that. I was just singing a song that I thought I just was the original. I think how upset you'd be. You just, like, wrote this song and then, like, pulled this out of this old journal 20 years ago. Now it's a real song and you already wrote it. I'm way too high. It's happened. You, you want to get real high? <laughs> no, I can't get. Uh-huh. Any, this edible's got me feeling. The universe fine. is infinite. No, let's not go there. The so infinite. Means that it means that yes, infinite. Forever. In, not an infant. It's infinite. <laughs> <laughs> so Maybe. someone. Someone it's just has, a baby man. Someone has written the same song as you. It's just when, when Whoa. there was some hard echo on that one. Infinite space and time. 
Oh, I'm too fucked up for this. Let's not go down. No, let's let's go down this. Come on, Alice. Join me, Alice. Drink the drink, Alice. What if you took the red and the blue pill? Drink me, right? What if you just like I like to party, Morpheus? Let's get weird. You know what I'm saying? Right. I need someone to wash this down. Fuck. Fuck. You got any vodka? You just oh, follow man. whiskey over here. Right, and he, he takes, takes those two pills, pills and then he chugs the water and spits it out. <laughs> Thoughts of <this> vodka. Pussies. <laughs> I take my sedatives with more sedatives. I'm just, just wondering, man. How fucking expensive are those pills? Like, what should you got like it? You know how, like, you, know, like, like, you can program, program and, like, hey, operator. operator. I want, I want to learn, learn taekwondo. taekwondo. Like, like you, you can, can probably get just drunk like that. Hey, operator, program, program me to six bottles of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Pro- program me to brown out drunk. If you if you're in like virtual reality. No, I'm saying like actual reality, like Matrix shit. Oh, is is Matrix? Do you remember it? I need a program, program to drive this helicopter, and she yeah, had that's when they were in like an orgasm. That wasn't the real. When he, <laughs> that's how he learned kung fu. They were in the matrix. Is the matrix real? Are we in it right now? We, we I don't know, know, man. I infinite program. I could tell you. Am I even? Sounds, Sounds like, like you're, you're in the Matrix. So you're echoing in my fucking brain. Right I know now. the audio is so bad. It's echoing so bad for me too. I hope it just works. Uh, not gonna work. work. I hope it works too. <laughs> to be honest, what if that echo right? really isn't an echo? It's a copy of yourself talking. No, you're, you're just a second ahead. Either <laughs> you're just one second ahead. Right. One second in the future. Yep. So, so like, like you guys, guys are such in sync, you know, like when, when one of us says something and then we say it at the same time. Oh, like you and yourself are so in sync that you're saying the same thing, but just a second too late. He's trying to catch up. You both just told me that. I'm just saying. So Jinx, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> oh man, all you got is water. Stone so. That's fucking 200%. percent can not even breathe. <clears throat> that was uh, that was a never-ending conversation about nothing, and it was wonderful. Do you ever, do you ever talk to yourself? I don't no, answer. Ever. I won't shut the fuck up. But like when you when you when you, when you talk in your head, like you know, without moving your lips, if you're like. <laughs> like, like I, I just said, said don't think, think about, about elephants. elephants, but I heard a voice. Like who? But you're not talking to yourself. That's just yeah. you thinking. It's not another person. Whose voice, voice did I hear? It's I heard yours. I'm, I'm too, too fucked, fucked up to have this conversation with you right now. I'm just gonna tell you, there's, there's not, not someone, someone else talking to you. you. You're, you're talking, talking to yourself. yourself. Wait. But it's crazy how different, different things. Like how you can remember somebody's voice that's no longer like no longer with you, and then you hear it like in a videotape, and it's just a little bit off. Pretend, all right. Let's do an experiment. Let's get crazy now. All right. I think I'm already having a heart attack. I don't even know two something in the morning. Let's get crazy, bro. Already crazy. All right, so pretend. Now, now, get in the right mindset here, okay? Audience, you can do this as well. Let's get fucking wild. Take this journey with me. Now, pretend you're at a concert, and you're on the stage, and there's a huge fucking crowd. Now, you yell... To the crowd, say, I'm a rock star. Now, you're imagining the crowd saying it. 
but it's not just one voice. Like you can hear multiple voices. The crowd. Yes. yes. Cause is that because you know what a crowd sounds like? Or what's happening? What's going on in your mind? Well, a lot of it probably is the it's you've heard the a crowd you've heard crowd noise so many times being in person or on TV or anything, so that kind of gets just black sandblasted into your memory. Right, because, because I've, I've never, never heard him say, say what I just said, said but I just, just heard him say it in my head. A bunch, bunch of them. Hundred thousand people just said it. They, they just yelled it. My oh, fucking mind is melting right now. It's because, because <laughs> you see it. It's because your imagination you is so it. vivid. Right. Like you visually picture what you've seen before. But I, but I know so what you're you, saying. Yeah, you can hear a crowd. Well, I like it. My brain voice in your head. Where does it go? Who is it? It's you. How do you? How do you? How do you hear it though? When it doesn't make any noise. Because it vibrates into your ear, inner eardrum. What's vibrating? The section of your brain. You're talking to me like you're a fucking scientist, <laughs> bro. You you watched fucking Upgrade, right, or whatever it was. The one well, movie. Right. And when the fucking thing's talking to him, it's making his inner eardrum vibrate, where only he can hear it. Yeah, and it's not like conscious. Your conscience what? is vibrating your inner ear. Doc, Doc Brown, Brown made, made a, a fucking, fucking time machine out of a DeLorean. DeLorean. He did. It might be one of the. See, See the, the echo, echo. I, I just, just heard, heard it. Caw, caw, and it just fucked with me. I was like, did I really have an echo, or is that my inner voice talking to me right now? <laughs> what, did it, what, is so, to what is he telling you to do? Or was it the vodka? Probably the vodka. I'm trying to think of the damn saying from Back to the Future, and it's a good one, and I can't think it. Oh, I thought your screen <laughs> froze. <laughs> no, that's my thinking face. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just talking, talking to myself, myself in my head, head and it's really, really fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my voice. <laughs> but it might be my voice. Whose voice is telling you? Who's, who does it sound like? Tell me what impersonate the voice. Boys, we're going to have to record another podcast just to let you know. This is fucking. I thought you said this is gold. Ooh, that's, that was sarcasm. This Why? is. How dare you? I mean, what's wrong with you, This is real yeah. life. This I'm way, way too fucked up to, to do this, this again. again. I, need I need to lay down somewhere. somewhere. Like, I need to eat yeah, everything at least that the fucking cupboard. I'm, I'm going to eat everything <laughs> that there is. I don't have I didn't to say we had to stop it. I'm just saying we're going to listen to it before we post it. No, you post that shit. How dare you? This is episode 50. We're going deep. Is it 5 0? Yeah. Yes. Boop, and our boop, fans boop, need to know boop, what boop, happens boop, inside boop, our brains. It's the 2 o'clock in the morning. When... <laughs> I mean, I mean we'll we'll know know like your 50 year anniversary. Edibles that are this powerful. I had a half of a half of a half of one. I'm fucking. I'm, 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 dude, I'm still talking to the voice in my head now, like it's not me. You know, the voice in your head said. Shouldn't have taken that much <laughs> 100%. What the fuck are you trying to do to us, man? Come what are you on, trying bro? to prove something? What are you trying to prove? Tell my story. Oh, Jesus. Man. This is craziness. Who said that? All right, so, hey, did you guys hear the story? You probably already did. About the five-year-old who stole the car? No, I have not. All right, so there was a car. There was a car swerving on the highway, going like 35 miles per hour. So the cop pulls him over. It's a five-year-old stole a car and was on his way to go buy a Lamborghini. <laughs> yes, I, I thought I was imagining that shit. That is a real story. That's what he told the fucking cop. Yeah, and he only had three dollars. How much you got? Three dollars. 
Oh, can you imagine? I guess the story started. He asked his mom uh, before she left for work if he could have a Lamborghini, and she said no. And he was like, "Oh yeah, fuck you bitch." <laughs> wow. Honestly, a five-year-old, he was driving that car pretty fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. GTA, Did brother. You see the video? Yeah, dude. He's not driving it that bad. How is he doing the pedals? Dude, he's probably fucking. <laughs> or he had a stick. Or he had a stick. <laughs> yeah, he's jamming a stick. Honestly, if, if you guys haven't seen it, and you guys are the listeners, he's not driving it. I mean, he's definitely got a power wheels at home, for sure. <laughs> he he's knows how like, to operate a motor vehicle. He's probably just like, it's hey, I at that age. Like, I mean, when my, you know, my daughter's fine. Like I wouldn't trust yeah, her. There's a reason why I'll... <laughs> anywhere. There's a reason why the keys are on a high shelf at your house, Jeff. Right, like she, oh, yeah. she had that, that mini fucking power wheel, and that thing's dangerous enough. She'd be popping wheelies in that, put it in reverse, and then popping it in drive so that she can pick it up and do a wheelie. Like she's a savage, bro. I watched her eat shit on her bike, bounce up, and just go back at it. She wanted to ride it so bad. We're like, it's raining, it's slippery. Down, down she goes. goes. She gets, gets up. Down, down she goes. goes. Two, Two more times. She was d- determined to ride that bike. She got her the ass worst when she gets up and looks at you and just laughs. And, and then she gets, gets back on. You're just, just like, oh, my God, God it's fucking scary. scary. Well, Jeff and I were talking when she went down the first time. So she looked over and noticed we were just like, we kind of just caught it at the end. Yeah. Uh, and, she did, and, she got, and she started crying. A little bit. Then she got back on, starts ripping again. We're like, you're going to fucking fall again. Stop. <laughs> she don't, don't care. care. Yeah. Don't know, same, crazy. same exact spot that she fell the first time. Yeah, yeah she, she came, came running, running over, over, though, the, the second, second time. time. Oh, yeah, she could, well, she <laughs> bit it the second time. Well, she's, you know, obviously, she's little. She, she gets, gets hurt and stuff. stuff but at the same, same time, like, I've, I've seen, seen her fall where I'm like, ooh, that's bad. And, like... Even Jeff would just be like, like you're, you're all right. right. And she's, she's like, like, I'm all right. Dude, kids, I don't know if it's just because they're, like, so, like, light. I don't know, dude. They don't feel pain. Like, I just watch a kid, like, run over rocks. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Like, my feet hurt watching you run over. Think, well, think about it. They've got, they've got 30 pounds of pressure pushing on it when we got two bills yeah. plus. <laughs> they're so light. That's hilarious. That's but the one guy's like, like on this fucking scooter thing, his feet are off of it, and he's just like dragging his knees. I'm just like, ow. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, oh. What the hell is it? Like, like, you're invincible. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, it's, it's so, so crazy. crazy. From, from when you can walk till about 15. Yeah, I want to say no, even all the way to, like, after high school, I think I felt good to where, like, I really didn't feel, like, that pain, pain, or, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't, like, where it wasn't welcomed. Like, you know what I mean? Well, I didn't really do too much no pain, no gain. crazy, stupid shit when I got... I mean, you do dumb shit in a different way when you get to high school. Like, grade school, I watched you fucking fucking ride a wheelie on a handlebars of a motorcycle without a fucking helmet and a shirt and go down. And I thought you were fucking done for, knocked unconscious. Like, that's not dumb at 20 years old? Yeah, that's like like an upgrade. Do it a wheelie. While you're on the handlebars of a crotch rocket is fucking dumb. I'm telling but you that. On a consistent basis, I did way more dumb shit in grade school. Like, dude, we were just building ramps out of anything. Yeah. Okay. Riding my bike off the shed. Yeah. How, Fuck it, I'll try it. Think about how many roofs did you jump off of? Oh, everything. Yeah. So I'm going to wreck my nuts. <laughs> There's There's a three times when you built the ramp, ramp, and when, when you, you went, went to hit it, it fell apart. It just fucking... You like ended up hitting the tree stump or something, or whatever you ended up trying building it out of a bucket. I don't know, bro. 
Who's this? Who's this sick fuck that designed bicycles? Why is a boy's bike got a bar right where you're gonna wreck your sack, and a girl's bike, the bar's nice and low, so they can get on it with their dresses? Technically, to answer your question, sick motherfucker. But it's not nah, nah. oh. boy's bike. So right. I have a nutcracker. Yeah, right but you, you know how many of those bikes you'd be just bending in half? Well, it's just oh, funny, though. Like, like, they always do say that. that. Like, oh, yeah, it's a girl's bike. bike. Like, I mean, I would, I would I much rather be a girl. boy's bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to jump, jump motherfucker. motherfucker. Well, think right. about it, though. You're trying to hit a jump in that bike, and that there's that crossbar is fucking way low. So that fucking thing just going to flex and snap in half. Oh, I mean, I'm sure it's not ideal to drive, but... The kids will never know the pain of those spiked pedals. Oh! When you slip them up, up and hit you in the shin. Right in the fucking shit. Dude, I still oh. got scars. Yeah, I got scars yeah, from that shit. I about that shit. Oh, I wake up in a fucking cold sweat. <laughs> and I check my shins, I'm like, oh, fuck, dude, it's just a cheap... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's the, the worst, worst too. Like, like when, when you, you ride, ride your bike, bike with like no shoes, shoes with those, you know what I mean? And, and like you're trying to grip in the middle with the toes. You knew you were gonna fuck so up. So dangerous when we were kids. I know. And like you said, we took them off everything. You know, one of the fucking. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. I used to wear Jinko jeans and then get caught in the fucking chain. <laughs> I just wore baggy pants. I never wore Jinkos. What? It wasn't a Chico. I used to wear a brand called L.A. Gates. I don't know if anyone knows what that is. L.A. Gates. I remember L.A. Gear. We get them from the discount mall. L.A. Gates. I remember I used to have a pair of corduroy pants that were L.A. Gates. Right pants, too. I ain't going to front. Oh, dude, everyone had a pair. You had corduroy something when you were growing up. Like, dude, everyone had corduroy back in the day. Corduroy? Fuck yeah. Like, great. Like, <laughs> Do you know how much corduroy overalls would go for right now if you were to fucking resell that shit? Vintage, bro. So just fuck. Oh, Sean, man. you ever get your you ever get your jinkos caught in your bike chain? <laughs> I uh, had a bunch of ripped off uh, bottoms of pants from bike chains. Just the one leg, you yeah. just roll it like a little cool J. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, eventually, you, eventually you just started doing that. You were just ripping the shit out of jeans every week. The worst is when you got your shoelaces caught in a fucking chain. <laughs> You're, you're just, just like, like crippled because you're just attached to the bike. It's yeah, all and fucking. your shoes get tighter than they've ever been in your life. <laughs> right, like, like uh, you can't just kick it off <laughs> and get it out of there. Like, like I haven't tied shoes in like 15 years. <laughs> You've been wearing those dude shoes for how long? I know, right? They're, They're my, my fucking, fucking favorite. favorite. And if I'm, I'm not in dude shoes, I'm wearing fucking. fucking the flop sandals. Fucking no, no this, this is slides. Slide. Socks and slides you wear. Those are your go. Whatever. Flippy floppies, motherfucker. <laughs> so <laughs> I remember my first like bike you ride. Start your own brand, Flippy Floppies. <laughs> I think Spreadshirt what does have flip flops. What kind of shoes are those? These are Flippy <laughs> Floppies, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Put, put a logo on it, put it on, put it on some flip-flops. Oh, fuck you. Can hire Samuel L. Jackson to do your commercials? Flip <laughs> <laughs> flop his motherfucker. You got to be in a plane with snakes. Oh. <laughs> I, just want, I just want him to be comfortable. Like, That'd be the worst, the worst thing to wear around snakes is flip-flops. <laughs> just we need some... You need, you need some, some boots. boots. Toe strikes yeah, and shin strikes. Snakes in for the Cowboy boots. Unless you got, got Kevlar, Kevlar socks on. <laughs> maybe you're wearing your own chain and socks, you know. You got your chain and suit on. Your flippy pop is ready. Chain and socks. Oh, you got your shark I suit on. Just... Who's the, the fucking ass clown that sold sock suspenders and actually... Like... <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Sock suspenders. suspenders. <laughs> Yeah, that's the the elastic goes around your calf and grabs your side. Yeah, <laughs> that's the fucking stupidest. Can thing you imagine if someone went on Shark Tank with that idea today? All right, guys, suspend you know your sock ball. 
<laughs> you gonna keep your <laughs> socks up. That like motherfucker would fucking laugh off the fucking stage. Get the fuck out of here. But you know what? Yeah. It's one of those oh, ones where if I ever was a super rich millionaire, I would definitely wear, at one time wearing a suit, I would have You'd these have fucking socks with my knees. Every, oh. I think every... I was say socks and sandals, I've done that with a suit. I'm ballish, so I was like, like, like fucking get away with shit like, like that. that. I thought Rock ever, sandals, after bro. every uh, white, white man retired, retired from their job, job that's, that's what's... You ever, ever see those guys who retire, retire and they give them the box? box. That's, that's what's, what's in, in the box. box. The beef no, no gold watch. Socks and suspenders, <laughs> socks and suspenders <laughs> on a watch. Tidy, 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 tidy ass, whitey tidy tidy tidies. Fuck yeah. You, yeah you, for some reason, reason, when you retire, you gotta wear, wear whitey tidies. And, I wore and whitey tidies and since I was a child, and when, when you get old, you just gotta, gotta wear a circle. Yeah, it's a full cycle. Yeah, it's a it's circle. circle. <laughs> Right, you, you go, go from, from not being able to talk, talk and feed yourself and shit in your pants to not being able to right talk and feed yourself, yourself or shit in your pants. Oh, God. With a lot more sexual harassment mixed in. Oh. What? Dude, I don't, don't want to be sexually, sexually harassed. Did you ever... Easy, Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. No, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> These old fucks, they get real handsy. I just, I just think you get, get to a point, point where you're old and you don't give a fuck anymore and you just say whatever. Right. Well, fuck you realize, yeah, I do. I'm old. Like, one of, the, like one of the gnarliest places in the world for STDs is old folks' homes. <laughs> it happens all the fucking time. I wanted to <laughs> Someone just it. tosses the clap around to everybody. That's, That's awesome. awesome. It is. It's a proven fact. These old people are just like, yeah, fuck it. Matlock's on. Everyone, why not? Like, like they're. Matlock's on in twenty not, minutes. Not Can we make this quick? I can't it, remember where I heard this, but and I, I want to give him credit, credit, but it was, it was well said. It might have been the voice inside your head. That's Maybe. Your head. <laughs> but it's like we go through like you know you get to a point in life where like we go through our whole life being. Oh, you know, in like, like three, three stages, stages where you're young and you're invincible. And then you live most of the rest of your life fearing death. And then you get to a certain point in your life where you start being grateful and thankful for every day and thankful for life because you find out how valuable it is. And, and it's, it's like, like when you, you get, get to that, that you know, like, you, there's always like the acts and stuff. Like when, when you, you get, get to those points and like you start to be thankful and like grateful for how lucky we are, like that's, that's when like things really start being more meaningful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. Like, like you appreciate so shit. much for granted. Yeah, hundred oh, percent. Like, like how many? I mean, we've, we've had plenty of. Um, you know, you know good, good experiences and funny times and this and that, but like, how many times did we have a, a memory that now is fucking hilarious and we laugh about it and have a good time and crack up? But when we went through it, maybe, or like at that moment when it fucking sucked, you know what I mean? Like, talking about like when we were in the Dells and like your tire fucking Sean hit himself with a bat with a bat. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. Rick, he wasn't there for it, though. Oh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, at that time, Sean, like, how much so bad was that? Yeah, how fucking Bro, it was only, bro, it was only 22 stitches in the eyebrow and, like, six on my right. eyelid. But, like, you want to go on vacation and hang out with your friends and go out and party and have a good time, and then you fucking It was the end of vacation. We were packing you know up and leaving. Right, right, but now it sucked balls, right? right? But, but now you have a story for life and we week. can laugh yeah. about it. In all honesty, it, that bat to the head made us friends, Jeff. It, how was 30 there? years ago. Was machine. That was one of the first trips that I actually camped with Jeff up there. Oh, really? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Sean's, Sean's like, like fucking, fucking, you know, six foot three, two hundred something pounds, sleeping in the back of a Ford Focus. 
<laughs> oh god, that's right. The windows are all fogged up. Car. <sighs> that that year comes out. He comes crawling out of that fucking thing like Ace Ventura out of that fucking rhino's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was rough. It was rough. Oh, I could just imagine your big ass shot, like oh, sleeping in the truck. Oh fuck! Dude, when I bought the Durango, it was like a, it was like a fucking. I was at a five star hotel, bedroom apartment. That the year that you only brought your car truck, Jeff? The red CRV. No, I brought it. Maybe twice. You brought it there. Yeah, that was one of those times. Blow up that. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't didn't fuck it, but no. Actually, Uh Jeff, you and I pig roasted it. We We did. There's photographic proof. No, No, there's there's not. not. Don't Don't tell people. people. Look it up. Find the picture, win a prize. It's on my space. <laughs> Find the picture, <laughs> win a prize. <laughs> Log on to my MySpace, guys. Check me out. It's the only thing I'm on. I don't post on nothing else but MySpace. So. Is it really working? So in, in all honesty, if you find that picture... I can't because I don't know my password. It won't let me on. If you find that picture, I will, we will take the picture and put it on a t-shirt, that's and it. that's your prize. That's I will. Prize. We will send. I will buy you that T-shirt. You can't, you can't offer them a prize they don't want. Exactly. <laughs> no one's gonna look for that fucking picture. Oh fuck it. Hey. The Dells, man. It's, it's gonna, gonna be crazy. crazy. Like, like I wonder what's gonna, gonna be open for the holidays. Or right, like now, now the bars are opening. Like how long until like Noah's Ark's open and all that bullshit? Right. Like, like you would even think though. Like I mean, I don't. Oh, sorry, man. Damn, he's got the shits. There's something. You gotta go. You really gotta go. Um, but, but I mean, like, like I don't know. His wrestling like, master in the dryer. All right, okay. Sorry, alarm clock was going off. It's like, Jesus, alarm clock's going off. Alarm clock. Wake up. It's what time, time I have up. my alarm set, my backup alarm clock. I'm a fucking dude because I sleep. I can't if sleep. I'm, if I'm out, I am out. It feels like it's like seven, eight o'clock. I want to ask you guys what you want to do tonight, but I know it's way too late. And these edibles are fucking. I think I'm at like fifth gear. I'm scared if there's a six. You might be. What, is the, what does the voice in your head want to do? Uh, ball cut. I don't even know. Eat. So the voice always wants to do in my head. Steak. Don't listen to, don't don't listen listen to that voice. Let's go get steak. <laughs> don't listen steak. to the voice that wants to eat. Right now, the it's voice is shut up. Go, go hey, voice, shut the fuck bacon. up. Dude, you're. Your 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 I need to eat more and you, voice and your penis voice need to fight each other because your penis is like I want pussy eventually. Right, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> you get this fucking guy all fucking. We ain't never gonna get fucking laid. You wonder why you're having like heart palpitations and shit. You're eating pounds of bacon at a time. Yeah, yeah, we're all one pound. pound. If, if it's, it's all one pound of bacon, it's one pound together. That's why it comes in one serving. You open the pound of bacon to eat it all at once. No, how many servings does it say on the back of that thing? You no, went to school to be a fucking personal trainer. What's the serving size? That's what makes it even funnier. One package is one serving size. No, it is not. Frankie's like... Fucking uh, Ben Stiller at the at the very end of fucking Dodgeball. A hundred percent. You see a personal trainer. I, I should have won, won that Dodgeball tournament. tournament. Fucking Chuck Norris. A pound of bacon oh, is like eight servings, dude. Uh, a pound of bacon is no way eight servings. I, I guarantee totally you look at the back of the bacon. I could totally see that. It, it probably, probably says, says 
one to two slices and have two strips of bacon. Right. Yes. Not 20. But so you ate enough for a family of 10. <laughs> yeah. I've heard bacon. bacon. I have only two slices. I dare you. Can't. You only have two. I don't cook bacon. Dude, bacon's, bacon's so, so fucking good. good. Pancakes, Pancakes, French toast, eggs. Ooh. Serving easy sandwich. sandwich. Serving sizes were created by thin people that couldn't gain weight. Right? Yeah. You never yeah. saw an obese doctor be like, yeah, serving size, one. Nah, uh One row. We can't talk uh, about food too much, much though. though. Why? Why? People are going to listen to this while they're at work. Dude, Dude I, I listened listen to a podcast the other day. I think it was Joe Rogan had like a chef on, and all they were talking about was cooking steaks. And I'm driving in the truck. I'm sorry. Oh, I want to fucking steak so bad. So, bad. <laughs> so I, uh, oh. I talked to my stepdad today before we were supposed to talk earlier, and he, obviously he's been on the lockdown because he's got a little bit of health issues and shit like that. But he. Uh, calls me today and we're shooting the shit and he go i go so did you uh go get breakfast this morning he goes i had to i had to go get steak and eggs <laughs> I, it had to be done did so, so many people just want to go out and get a meal like, and, like sit, sit down, down and like not have to cook, cook themselves, themselves. They're like, like i don't know i've been getting innovative well, i mean it's not innovative but like i've been getting innovative i've been eating a pound of bacon at a time <laughs> <laughs> and I hallucinate because I'm well, in a poor I was going to make, make that pound of bacon. So I, I made, made, um, I made, I made a, a double cheeseburger the other night on the grill. So I put two bags on the grill. And, and then I made a grilled, grilled cheese with, with like these uh, garlic and olive oil noodles. And then uh, some fucking. Hold on. Hold on. This is like some fat island. This oh, is, dude, don't tell so me you put, put the two patties in between the grilled cheeses. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bro, <laughs> you're going to so fucking good. have a heart attack. No. Yeah. You, you know, know how good, good that was? was? Dude, I, I bet, bet it was delicious. delicious. Oh, it was so delicious. delicious. What's, What's wrong, wrong with it? it? it was oh, my God, dude. But then you don't, don't, don't ever talk about... How, How fat you are, are ever again? again. And then <laughs> what are you gonna go ahead and tell me you're eating that shit, <laughs> Jeff? I had noodles and rice with, with it. You, you probably, probably dude, you doubled up grease. carbs that turned into sugar. <laughs> I was gonna make bacon with it too. I did. <laughs> Saving that bacon, that pepper <laughs> bacon, <laughs> gonna be breakfast tomorrow or Sunday. I mean, Jeff was How eating tostitos and macaroni and cheese earlier, but he said, "This so is the f- this is Fat Island. I'm doing this." Yeah, yeah, I, I said, said, let's go. go. You don't know, the chips. chips. Dude, I've been losing weight. Where? You just said that. <laughs> All, All over, bro. Just take a dump somewhere. Did you say losing weight? Yeah. yeah. No, My not. ankles are looking thin. <laughs> 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 Are you putting, putting your socks, socks on? Or no, or that's why he socks. brought up the sock suspenders. <laughs> he's he's going to yeah. try. He's got to put together he's some like, socks. I got these new sock suspenders, guys. It's great. That's because my ankles are getting too thin. My, my socks are off. Pull them up. <laughs> Jeff wears ankle socks, but he can pull them up to his knee. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like sock suspenders. I'm going to say it, bro. I'm going to stretch it. Right. Why not? Like, you know. Oh, oh God! I, 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 I used, used to, to love driving me nuts. So when, when I worked, I worked at the hardware store, store we used to they out a phone in the, in the back, and we used to call the ladies at the register in the front, front asking for the most fucked up <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> We'd, We'd be like, like "Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, is there anyone there that can help me? I'm looking for a left-handed screwdriver." <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you hear him on the radio. I got a guy on mine too, looking for a left-handed screwdriver. <laughs> well, we used to do that at the Roadhouse too. I think I told that story before, where we were, oh. where we would uh, say that we were in the bathroom and there was no toilet paper. We'd call the front desk at the <laughs> at, at the restaurant and just watch, see what the panic, watch the panic in their faces. The panic ensue. 
Uh, it's oh, shit. Who's, who's going to bring toilet, toilet paper, paper to the guy, guy in the, the fucking bathroom? bathroom? Just not me. me. I'd be sitting on my cell phone in the back corner. I feel like that. Like remember you were doing, doing the, uh, uh... I was doing the, hey. Uh, yeah. I'm in the <laughs> stall against the wall. Yeah, I'm out of toilet paper in here, and I made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, send someone in here with toilet paper? Oh, it's the, the best, best, man. Toilet paper, paper in the boys' bathroom. No, they... Can someone bring, bring toilet, toilet paper to, to the boys' bathroom? The look of sheer panic on their faces <laughs> was... I wish I had a video camera. Well, it was, it was great because, like, like, only... Only, only me and, like, one other guy, guy knew about it because we were calling. calling. But, but then, then when they radioed it, what the every fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can call the like, guy that's for the rainbow paint. Rainbow paint. Rainbow yeah. paint. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, it's got all the colors in it. So she's like, I got a guy looking for rainbow paint. You got to ask him. Can you elaborate? elaborate what's rainbow, rainbow paint? paint? Rainbow paint. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know? It's like, got all the colors in it, they said. Oh, man, dude. We, we, we fucking... <laughs> when I worked at the... Uh, used to work at this factory, and uh, they did, like, interior, exterior doors for houses. You guys know this, but... Yeah. For the listeners. And I had this dude looking for a wood stretcher for, like, two hours. <laughs> He's like, 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 yeah, yeah bro, bro, just ask, ask, the, ask, the, ask the maintenance guy. guy. It's in the warehouse. He's, he's like, like, it's in the warehouse, man. It's in the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got no, no wood stretch. Do I, Ted? Do, do I? I? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He's, he's looking, looking for that wood stretcher. Two hours. He comes back, you motherfucker. Someone eventually told him. Oh, uh, well, you're fucking serious. serious? You're, you're looking for a wood structure? Uh, 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 told you. We always used to mess you. with the other guys, you know, the new guys with the, yeah, yeah, go and uh, get that out of the basement. Building has no basement. And they'd be fucking <laughs> looking all over the place for the basement. <laughs> so, How do I get out, out of the basement, basement bro? I've been looking for like, like two hours. hours. One guy did uh, ask the manager. Go the other side of the building, the building on the left. left. Go on, on the, the other side on the left. You'll see it. Ask the general manager, and the general manager looked at him and goes, you realize this building's on a giant concrete slab. There is no basement. <laughs> you dummy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but, but all right, right, you want to enter the stone zone? zone? Any floor under, under you is, is the basement. basement. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? What if, if you're, you're on, on the 11th floor? floor? Yeah. Isn't it, isn't it, I don't think. Don't is thought. Is the 10th floor? Wouldn't that be considered the basement? <laughs> If, if your eyes, eyes fuck it would be. be. <laughs> I'm eyes fuck, fuck right now, and I'm fucking skeptical. I'm asking questions. No, I'm over here, here like, uh, I don't, I don't think, because the basement is like, like saying it's the base. All right, I'm too high. Let's not get into this. The base of the building? The fucking building, yeah. So, like, right off the back. Under the base. Right? right, so, so it, has it has to be under, under the base. base. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, you, oh, you can't, can't be under the base. The base is the base. Base is the bottom. The bottom. It's the base. You can't go any lower. Yeah. <laughs> right, but, but I mean, we're, we're, we're at like we're at like, like the buildings at street level, so that's, that's like the base, base right? And, and then if you go down, you're going under. No, I feel like I shouldn't have to explain this to you because I'm high as fuck and you're not. A base is like a house when you build it or a building when you build it. There's a foundation. The foundation, yeah. So it's from the base up. It's what relationships are built on. And then it goes to the first floor. Do you walk into the first floor? Or are you already... You have to go up to go to the first floor. I don't like that I'm thinking about this stuff right now. I'm just <laughs> saying, let's say you walk into a building. Is that the first floor? You haven't gone up yet. Can that be ground zero? That would be the lobby. <laughs> the lobby. So the first floor of my house is the lobby. I guess I've never really paid attention in an elevator. Do you hit one to go back to the lobby? No, you hit lobby. <laughs> right. So the first floor is out. Yeah, <laughs> Is there, is, there, is, there, is there a first lower, floor over L? Or, or is there, why is there an LL? Lower, lower lobby. lobby. 
<laughs> Wouldn't that be a basement? <laughs> no. No, that's the lower lobby. <laughs> Oh, it's like a lobby? Yeah, but just lower. Because <laughs> it's under there. <laughs> you see, you're in the lobby. Yeah. And this you one is the, the, the lower, lower lobby. lobby. There's another lobby. It's lower. What's in the lower lobby? It's the same lobby. It's the same exact thing, just lower. But is there a basement under the lower lobby? No, that would be the parking yes. garage. <laughs> <laughs> That's the parking garage. I can't do this. Wouldn't it be uh, a parking basement? <laughs> no, it's because of the garage. So confused. Good thing I'm not an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Shit would be nuts. Oh, really How many floors floor is this building? I don't know. 37. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, thirty-seven lobbies. <laughs> Seven are underneath. Thirty-seven lobbies. Thirty-seven lobbies and thirty-six lower lobbies. Right. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, they can't even do that. No, one basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! The, the one basement. Might be the greatest podcast of all time. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You're, You're welcome, welcome, everyone. <laughs> You're yes. welcome, America. You'll never get this hour back. <laughs> never. No one's not, not, not just America. This this podcast is worldwide. It is Shout worldwide. Out the, Shout out to Sweden. <laughs> Sweden? Sweden. Uh, Sweden. Fuck. Good times, guys. Thanks for that. I needed it. <laughs> I don't even know what we did. This is uh, This is one of our... This is what happens when we decide to do a podcast a day early <laughs> and late as hell because we had technical it's not issues. Late. See, now we can get into this stone zone. It's early, technically. Yes. Technically, it's early. Early Saturday morning. Ooh. It's a beautiful morning. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know it's a beautiful morning? It could be a horrible See, that's morning. what's fucked up. Frankie, that song is not for you. Because <laughs> the next line is, I think I'll go outside for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that is not your jam. <laughs> what do you mean? It, I had 17,900 steps. That song should never be played until it, this quarantine is over. In all honesty, Frankie, you are the whitest man right. that walks three miles a day. <laughs> Oh, I was wearing this hoodie when I went for a walk, and I was You're like, like that dude with the sword from Benchwarmers. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> eating sunscreen. <laughs> Bro. Oh, sweet Jesus. You're out, Dan. You guys are just jealous, all right? That, that sweater is doing you no favors either. <laughs> Why? The, the lighting of the really sweater white. is just gray. not doing you any justice. <laughs> gray sweater is not white. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude. You might want to lean oh. back, Powder. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Look, <laughs> you got a little bit darker. <laughs> Instant Oh. <laughs> Uh, those skinny fucking legs though Working out man Yeah dude Yeah your ankles are getting thin too You guys get up to 260 pounds like me Come come holler at your boy What are you fucking talking about? Huh? Sean's, Sean's been 260 since 1992 I was 195 when I graduated So yeah Sean may speak to me I got Wait, I got you by you at least thirty. Game up, bro. We're just enjoying this quarantine, you know. What do you mean, bro? You never made a grilled cheese and put fucking two double cheeseburgers in between it, dude. I and see the two thing double. is because I cry myself to sleep at night. The thing is, I know I'm fat. I know I can't eat like that because it eventually will you kill me. You don't think I you, know I'm fat? No, no. You still have the same. <laughs> I got a six pack under here mentality, and I can eat whatever I want. Oh, I'm still strong, strong like bull. This is just energy. <laughs> yeah, except your heart is really strong. Is energy pumping the thickest blood in the world going through it right now. I got, I got a. Frank has nothing to do with it. Offensive linemen are strong as fuck. They're all strong as fuck. Right. 
Marshall Yonda is already down 60 pounds, and he retired, what, five months ago? That's what's up. See? He can do it. Good. I asked, like I said, bro, what's 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 seventeen thousand nine hundred steps? Where I'm at today? I don't know. I didn't know there was gonna be math. What Rima? How high did your heart rate get? I don't know. Jules does mush. She likes to pull. She's I get a pretty upset when she tries to drag me down the fucking sidewalk. She's so a slut dog, bro. Rates, probably. I, know, I try to trick her, like, I try to go down all the way, and then, like, I turn around, I'm like, let's go back, because, like, if she's already been through the way, then, like, when she goes back, she's, like, calm. But if not, she wants to get all the sniffs. She's All fine. the sniffs, bro. Fuck a little, man. A little cuddle bug. All poppers. Jules is for sure the best dog. I don't know, Ridley Pup is a really good dog. There you but Watch your mouth. I'm just saying, Ridley Pup's a good dog, but Jules is better. Just being honest. Just because, because yeah. Jules likes giving them grundles, though, man. Jules, she, she gets yeah, she all in your sex. Oh, oh, dude, she loves popsicles and ice cream. It's like her fucking obsession. The only, the only reason why is because she went to go pee one time in the house, and I told her no, and she's never pissed her shit in the house once. Like, that's the only thing I would say. She's... She's a cuddle bug and she's awesome, but like, that's her one like ace in the hole. It's like a superpower. Potty train yeah. in a day. Name a, name a dog you could potty train in a day. I don't know. It's pretty good. Just saying. Can't even potty train a kid in a day. <laughs> Shit. Can't even potty train yourself in a day. Right? I still fucking have trouble some days. I'm like, man. We've all had a shitty day, boys. We've all had a shitty day. (laughs) Literally a shitty day. Shitty day. It was like yeah. It was like double meeting what Sean just did there. Did you see that? I think that's what like guys do on the radio. Double entendre. Hey, uh, since we're we're coming up on the one year anniversary of the podcast. Oh my. Uh, should we, should we play? spelling be Jeff spell entendre? Entendre. <laughs> should we have a blast from the past? Should we have a, our Butch Dixon ad? I love her. For the 50th oh, anniversary. Jeff spell entendre. U-N. What is it? Toyota Tundra. <laughs> U-N. T-U-N-D-R. That's not, that, that's, like that's not even close. <laughs> tundra. Tundra. It's like when you're under a ton of stuff. <laughs> like a it's ton like of when it. you're under a Toyota. Here's a ton of it. Tundra. Uh, it does tundra. Tundra. Bird plays. What was that? Um, that one dropped Tundra. tundra. Oh, the chick with the pizza slices where, she, where she's like, I have a large pizza. The waiter oh, asks yeah. you, do you want to cut eight or 12 slices? And she's like, eight. Why? Because I can't eat 12. I could eat eight. But right. I can't eat 12. It's like, it's the same fucking pizza. She, <laughs> oh. She's also the same one that, you said you wanted tuna steak. I made you tuna steak. There's a steak with tuna on it. Fuck yeah. No, the pizza one was fucking funny. Oh. Oh. I'll get the pizza with eight because I can't eat 12 pieces. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> we gotta stop talking about food or else I'm gonna make a pizza. Yeah. Ooh, pizza, pepperoni. Nice. Okay, right now. Burger wrapped in grilled cheese <laughs> dipped in bacon <laughs> grease. I'm just <laughs> deep fried. <laughs> I'm just saying. Next time we hang out, I'm making burgers on the grill. I'm making fucking grilled cheeseburgers. Frankie, I like bet I it changed your fucking life. You gotta have it I'm once. Not, I'm not saying it's not delicious. I'm just saying right. I don't want to die after eating it. Right. This is about problem. Die. I've been in quarantine just watching diners <laughs> driving. Dude, stuff. I've been watching. I so watched the shit out of that show. show. I can't stand it. Oh. 
I, mean, I know, but now you're getting all these crazy ideas. You know what does suck when you go to the grocery store and there's no fucking meats to buy? You're like... I haven't had this problem that people are talking about. I mean, maybe it's because you guys don't have a lot of people in that town, but... No, because I mean, we don't fucking... go, What store do you go shopping at? You don't go shopping at Walmart, do you? Uh, I go to Meyer and then uh, I try Walmart, too, sometimes, but, yeah, yeah they're... Dude, the bo- like... They, the no, box like a fucking butcher around there, go, or go to Jewel. Uh, yeah, Jewel's another oh, place to try. I just feel like going to three stores is just a lot. Dude, just Walmart, all fucking those big box stores, chicken. all them big box stores, dude. They're gonna be out of meat. They're purposely doing it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I even went over there, and they've they've hooked it up. But like, I mean, they weren't the greatest. But like, I've gone to the, I've seen the butcher back there, and I was like, hey. I don't see any like just you know, out of his ass. <laughs> Get good looking yeah. T-bone. <laughs> I was just like, I don't see any like steaks or fillets or anything out. It's gotta be and your they, bowl. They did say though, like if you go to the butcher there and ask him, they'll cut it for you. So he cut me some steaks, some fillets and shit, and it just weren't the greatest. Bro, you want if you want fillets, go and buy a tenderloin and cut them yourself. You'll save money in the long run. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, though. Like, there's... Then you could cut them fucking bro. It I know, takes you know what really six to days to cook. That... And Rich... El Rachetta or whatever. El Rachetta? Yeah. That might get me out of the house if we make that. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing incentives out there. I mean... If there might be a party where that's being cooked, I might show up. I got to... Uh... I happen. They, they, have, they, <laughs> they did have it at the grocery store in town here. They did have the meat. Oh, wait, what? Oh, like, you, you, you don't even have to come all the way out here to the fucking ghetto and go to the Mexican place? Oh, I think they could do it for me. No, man, it's not the same thing. I punch the hole. You just got to. No, gotta they have it. Trip. They have the, the, the hauler, the chainer, whatever the hell oh, that thing is. Really? The tenderizer. Tenderizer. Yeah, cut one good thing, thing going on there. I went there the other day and, the other day and tried to get alcohol. They're like, I didn't bring my ID. They yeah. wouldn't talk to me. Yeah, you got to have an ID to get alcohol. Serious. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. Could have called me. I would have just, I came and fucking did it for you some three minutes. Okay, away, bro. Hook, hook me up. Buy the slicker. Uh-oh. So I don't understand that. All right, let's <laughs> get this. If I go to the liquor store with my kids, buy alcohol. They don't check the kids' IDs, right? They just sell it to me. Because they think you're if, not going to feed it to your kids, which we all know you do. But if I'm at the register with a 18-year-old, they ask for their ID, and then they won't sell it to you. Yeah. Well, so what's they, the difference between, like, an 18 to 20-year-old or a fucking 9-year-old? Because they know you're not going to get the 9-year-old drunk. How do they know? Maybe I like to party. <laughs> right? And I want them to go to bed early. Maybe they need a little hot toddy. If I'm the one buying the alcohol, it should be only my ID being checked. 200%. I agree. I agree. Because you, you know, know how many times I have went to buy alcohol and then I'm with my girlfriend and she doesn't have her fucking ID and then I can't buy it? God damn it. Right? My lady. I get it. I mean, if she ever hears this, this is, I'm just saying how she just looks super young and, you know, just beautiful for her age. How dare you? For her age, mouth. dude. She's, she's, I know, she's, she's like 20. So Is she 21 yet? Huh? How dare you? I'm, I'm just I'm not good with math. I'm not good with math. <laughs> you guys are like, what, 25 years apart? I'm sorry. I don't know. How dare you? It's close. Oh, it's close. Man, just nut shot after nut shot right now by Francis. Did yeah. she cut your hair? I'm curious. No one's cut this hair in months. Maybe you should let her. No, you let it go. Why? You let it go, young Michael McDonald. Let that I'm hair curious, grow. What are you doing with your hairstyle? What's happening? I haven't with figured it out. Like, I know I'm so, so many cool. options right now. Bro, he splits it down the center. I <laughs> might do the old school 1996 part down the center, shaved underneath. Dude, Ooh, with the, the ponytail? Cut. With the ponytail? Yes. 
bring no, it back. Not with the ponytail. I don't want it that long. I want to keep no, it. No, no, just a bowl. Right at eye level. Right, yep. Yep. I, I think, think I'm going to do it. it. Fucking. Oof, that's going to be a look. Oh, that's good. <laughs> That's going to be a look. <laughs> It'll be fucking horrible. It is. But I totally do it. Hair grows back, right? Yours grows quick, too. For... So. Like, that's the one thing I. That Jeff does have is that quick growing hair. Quick hair. Oh, quick my hair ain't growing. My hair used to grow real fucking fast. It don't grow for shit no well, more. Well, because your hair follicles are blocked by all that bacon grease that you've been shoveling <laughs> in your face. <laughs> I love fucking bacon, bro. Frankie gets out of the shower and has to take so another good. one right after. <laughs> I love that. I love the cooking show. Yeah, you make prison bags. Oh. All right, boys. It's three o'clock in the morning. I what? We, I think we should wrap and this I'm one up. up having phone sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was five in the we gotta wait till five. Five in the morning. Yeah. What does he say what does he say like uh C B four? The where he's uh do the phone sex thing? Dude, I can't yeah, yeah, that. I'm licking your balls. I'm licking your balls. <laughs> and he's like cutting it out or whatever, <laughs> doing the phone sex operator. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like right now, we're in the quarantine. Let's work from home. Would you be a phone sex op- sex operator? No, because I'd be laughing the whole oh, time. Oh, dude. <laughs> Hell no. I don't need to hear someone call me. I'd be me. like just making shit up. I'd be like, oh, yeah, baby, this bush is amazing. <laughs> Dude, I'd be fucking dying. Dude, that'd be so no fucking fun. It's so funny. There would be, what there I... would have to be a, a button where I could pause it and laugh where they can't fucking just hear laugh. me. No, yeah. I need yeah, a cough button. Oh, yeah, put your finger in my butt. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Oh, the second knuckle. Oh. <laughs> if you knew your buddy was a fucking phone sex operator, would you be calling all the time just to fuck with him? I don't care. It's fifty dollars a month. You gonna have phone sex with your buddy? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Whoa, dude, Could that's friendship right there. You've been locked in, right? I think you've been locked in the basement too long. Question. With questions, John, ah. fucking new toy. Well, maybe we'll start. Maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get a burner phone and let our listeners call in and we'll have phone sex with them. <laughs> I, what we call it. I ain't talking to a dude. I do feel like at three a.m. we should be calling like one of these places, just fucking with somebody on the air one of these nights. No, I just would, fucking, I would just be fucking with people, just laughing. Take, take your pants off. off. Holy <laughs> fuck! Look at that. <laughs> look at those bumps. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, I talk about my plums. <laughs> the perfect for the harvest. Oh. All right, so now we have to figure out when we're gonna do this. Sandwich. This, is, this is gonna happen. We're gonna have to call and fucking. Is there still phone sex operating places that like, we get a number to call? Oh, I'm sure, yeah. dude. There's There's gotta be, you could Google you that one. You could have that Google Google search I'll on your history. I don't phone just to call because I don't want them even like racking up thirty eight dollars a minute. <laughs> Bro, be like, I got forty minutes on this phone. That's all you get to burn up. That's your. Hey, that's... Frankie, Frankie calls it at a joke, and he ends up getting charged like three hundred bucks because he was on it for four hours. <laughs> I know. Just falls asleep. Yeah. Like, bro, she was so hot, and so soothing. You know what they do? They fuck you with the cell phones. <laughs> they always fuck you with the cell phones. <laughs> fuck you with the cell phones. Uh, then they drop the call because you know you're going to call back. You know you're going to call back. All right, we can't keep <laughs> stealing people's bits. Uh, like, uh, it's, it's, it's a movie call, you know. Yeah, it's Joe Pesci. Lethal Weapon 4. I mean, you remember, like... The less lethal of the weapons... Like me and Jeff were talking about like old school cell phones and how things were back in the day. Like fucking, oh yeah, god! You had to call me. I get free incoming. Yeah. Right. After so seven, you would call someone and be like, "Yo, bro, call me back," and then you'd hang up because you knew the drill. You got free incoming calls after seven. After call seven, everyone was on the phone after seven. Oh, dude, 
all the brain tumors that all popped up recently was because of that. Right. <laughs> seven o'clock. Fucking fucking seven o'clock. Ooh, you're seven at o'clock. Home, call Nokia me back super bricks to your ear. Well, right. it sucks because you both had free incoming, so who's the one? Who's the sucker right. that's going to call the other? Yeah, who's the one that's going to suck some out of minutes? Numbers. Bro, I can't really hear you. Call me back. <laughs> what? Uh, hey, huh? I'm, is it, I'm, 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 Call me back. Yeah, 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 call me back. Call me back. I don't think I, yeah. yeah, it's bad connection. Real quick before we end this, I, I think what ended Nextel's uh, little chirping, flocky talkies, is when everyone figured out when someone would hit the fuck you button. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Because you would, you, would, you would tweet, like, you'd hit the button and it would, like, alert, oh, oh you got a thing. And if you canceled it, they were able to beep you and talk to you. Right. You oh, what's that? up, motherfucker? Why are you ignoring me? I know oh, you hit the button, motherfucker. <laughs> right. And then you would just let that motherfucker beep So you would just have to let it sit. <laughs> well, and then it would just beep and beep and beep and, like, your girl would be like, answer that. It's beeping. You're like, oh, I don't want to talk to him right now. Like, I'm just going to let it go. Like, I was busy. My bad. Like, I know what he wants. I don't want it, though. Like, it'd be nice to just be like, hey, what's up? Well, they, they have that kind of with the, the um, oh, no, I love the next cells and I like, talk like that, but they have that like, with the text messages where it says, like, red or, like, not red and, like. Oh, yeah, getting left on red's a motherfucker. Right. Like, hold on, you read it? You didn't respond? Not even an LOL. Was driving. Not even. Right, and then you get all fucking pumped because then you see the three floating balls and you're like, all right, here it comes. And it never and then comes. And it turns off and you're like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You were just typing. And uh, why did it not come? Say I don't What were you going to say? I need to know. It's like getting a penguin in the alley. <laughs> Get a what? A penguin in the alley. I don't know what this uh, statement is. Please. Elaborate. Huh? What happens when you get a penguin in the alley? Oh, it's an old joke about the guy who... Uh, Goes to get a, a blowjob from a prostitute. And he's like, how much is it? And she's like, 20 bucks. He's like, Only, all I got's 10. So she's like, fine, whatever. So she pulls his pants down. She starts blowing them. And right before he's about to finish, she gets up and walks away. And then he waddles after, hey! His <laughs> pants around his ankles. Looking like a penguin. Oh, that's fucking great! Penguin in the alley. Penguin. So, so what happens? Do you did he already pay her? Did he just get <laughs> he just get screwed? Yeah, he paid her for a penguin. Now, here's the question: <laughs> The other ten dollars, do you get to finish or? Yeah, no, well, you finish yourself off. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> what about a ZJ? How much is a ZJ? You gotta ask. You don't know what it is. You can't afford it. That's fucking great. It's a great life. It's a great movie. I'm still waiting for Pot Fest. It's going to happen one day, eventually. One day. You make your own. Fuck. 2028. I'm living Pot Fest. Fuck it. <laughs> Nerd ropes for days, man. Yeah. Pot Fest. That's where we're ending it. Because I can't handle it no more. Have a conversation with yourself tonight. Should I uh, play the Dixon oh, hard cider to close it out? Man. If you want, I mean, it's number 50. Play our old sponsor. All right. Love you guys. Good night. Miss you, Butch. Man, I just don't know what to pick. Reds? Angry Orchard? I want a cider, but these just aren't hard enough. Hey, honey. You looking for a hard cider that's really going to fill you up? Yeah, but who are you? The name's Butch Dixon. And I've got the hardest cider around. Hard Dixon cider. Give it a taste. Mmm, this is great. Told you, and it comes in all kinds of flavors. Hard, harder, and my wife's favorite, she loves the hardest Dixon cider. Thanks, Butch Dixon. Anytime, honey. And if you like a fuller, creamier flavor, try our seasonal summer malt liquor. Thick, dark Dixon cider. Also, try our new 40 ounce, huge Dixon Cider. Comes with a bonus Kid Rock's Greatest Hits CD. You'll love hard Dixon Cider. I guarantee it. 
or my name is Butch Dixon.